right guys got the bronco back over here in the shop and uh still having some issues with it um it actually runs really really good um so so far what we've done put a new throttle position sensor clean the throttle body new wires plugs um i tried some other sensors and they didn't work so i brought them back everything stayed the same uh, we put new fuel pumps on both of those we did a new fuel filter a uh, new sock on the one in the tank um, we did a bunch of stuff so now when you fire it up it runs excellent it drove all the way to the shop yesterday perfectly fine um, but after you run it for a long time the the module the ignition module on the back side of the distributor which is the very back which is the only thing that's something stupid that gm does i guess ford decided they should do it too um, under the intake at the, <laughs> under the very bottom is super hard to get to um, that ignition module gets hot and then we'll start breaking down over years and it'll start messing up and then you fire it up the next day when the engine's cooled back down it runs perfectly and then 10 15 maybe 20 minutes later it starts to run like crap again so this is that ignition module this is the brand new one okay so that's it and this actually sticks up into the distributor and you plug on your wire here um and that's what controls it and uh this is like 16 bucks or something I mean, you can find them different prices uh this is just a reman one um and then uh that's the the number there but you can find them on ebay wherever this is one thing you have to have okay so this thexton part number 396 you have to have this socket or you cannot get this thing off okay, it's a special socket so, and sometimes these sockets cost almost as much as the module does. So luckily I found this one pretty cheap, but it's quarter inch, uh, down in there. So you can, you can pop it on a, uh, uh, ratchet of some type. And you've got the three eighths drive around the outside. And it's a thin wall, five and a half millimeter that actually goes into here. Look, if it's perfectly in there and it's the only thing that will. So that's what you've got to use. Uh, and then there's a, an easier ratchet than I we can show you that in just a second. All right, here is that ratchet. Okay, <clears throat> so it's kind of like it's in a universal and this will spin and move and allow you to actually ratchet that, but it's quarter inch and this will fit on there. So that keeps everything nice and short and small. And you just got to reach in there <laughs> really, really tight and get this thing worked out. So the first thing we're gonna do is see what all we got to move to get down to the distributor and you can see that plug right here that's down in there that's the one we got to pull off and that's that module so we've got to move some wires and get stuff out of the way that's it right there so uh try to work on that now and see how bad this thing's going to be Right, so wires are off and then tucked out of the way. There's one that's right here. That's one bolt hole. There's another one down that's tucked down in there, which is gonna be even harder to get to. So, but there's a tiny, tiny bit of room for you to ratchet that thing out. And the distributor is under the intake. So if you gotta pull the distributor, you gotta pull the whole top of the intake plenum off. <laughs> All right, guys, I got the mirror down in here. It looks like there's, it's kind of hard to see because the camera's not focusing that far away, but it looks like there's a rubber plug in the hole. This other one looks empty down there, but this one's actually got some kind of rubber plug. I'm gonna see if I can get that out of there. All right, there's that little plug and it was just popped down inside the hole. Looks like it's even got a little bit of dielectric grease or something in here, but I guess it's just to keep the, screws from corroding it just drops in there which it ain't even fit in that one but anyways try to get the first screw out of here yeah, daddy is in there now and he actually had this small ratchet here so that's what he ended up using breaking it loose so if you got something thin like that it'll work and uh there's one of the screws that thing's tiny it's tiny and, uh, and then as soon as you broke it loose, he just used the little bit itself to get it out. So 
don't lose the screws. No. <laughs> Here. I'm gonna be bad. <laughs> That's it. Little special screws. It's actually going easier than, because I'm not doing it, so it's real easy for me. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, it seems like it's going easier than we thought it was before. There's a little bit more room than you assume there is. When you first look in there and all the wires are in the way, it looks like there's no room. <clears throat> Have to use a magnet? Yeah, I think I'm gonna use a magnet. Yeah. Old one and uh, brand new one. We did have to push, pull down on it there and it popped it out of the distributor and this popped right off. So it actually went pretty quickly. Let's get the other one on. There is some, uh, some uh, heat sink paste on here, which helps the heat transfer through here. And we probably need to go pick some of that up. Let's see if what we can get. All right guys, here is the uh, heat sink compound. And it's at SL203 at AutoZone. That's the part number there. And this is that compound. This is just a little packet of it. Cut this open, squirt out some more on the new one like that. Just smooth it out on here. So. Okay, so added some dielectric grease uh, in the terminal blocks. Got this stuff nice and smeared on the back of it. And let's try to get it in place. back in there now cool all right uh, it's back on here this uh top bolt uh back here is actually seem a little bit stripped out um if i can get back in there but i can't so i tried to get it as tight as i can without it slipping again and then uh, the other one tightened up pretty tight so should be good i'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, plug put back on Okay, everything's back in place. Let's see if it'll actually crank and run. Fired right, right up. Maybe that fixed it. I just need to let it run for a long period of time and see what happens. All right, guys, check this out. Full throttle. ignition module was the problem which which is a somewhat common problem for this ignition system that little module will get hot over and over again and it start dying but right now i'm just doing a whole bunch of full throttle runs and it seems to be doing pretty good with them so we'll keep driving it let you know all right guys it's been running about an hour now um i stopped by and got daddy for a minute and we went cruising down through the woods and 
played around and and uh, went slow, went fast, bunch of full throttle runs, and it's gotten plenty hot, and it's running perfectly. So no issues there. Uh, I did notice that the radiator, the end caps, were starting to leak uh, as it was starting to warm up, and now that it's gotten hot, they've stopped leaking. So I may have to put a radiator in here pretty soon, but uh, seems to be running and driving great again. So here we go. Appreciate it, guys.